Hey everybody, welcome back to Walden Community Church. My name is David and I'm the pastor here in Montgomery, Texas. And we are going through a different devotional every single day from now until Christmas Day, looking at one of the ornaments that is sitting on of our Chrismon tree. Now, what is that? What's a Chrismon tree? Well, Chrismon is a combination of two words. It's the word Christ and monogram. And so these various ornaments, they each represent some sort of title or caricature of Jesus. They teach us theology so that at Christmas time, we're not just thinking about uh, Santa Claus and snowmen and snowflakes and tinsel, but we're also thinking about the King, our Messiah, who is what Christmas is all about. Today, we're gonna look at a very popular symbol in the Christian faith, the fish or the ichthus. And I know you see them on the back of cars everywhere. <laughs> Occasionally you might see them on a necklace or a bracelet. Uh, I've seen them on keychains. I've even seen them on hats. The ichthus is that little fish symbol. So what is it? What does it mean? I'm sure it symbolizes something, right? Well, it's a funny word, ichthus or ichthys. It's the Greek word that simply means fish. The Greek spelling for ichthus is I-X-O-Y-E. And those are the first letters of each of the other Greek words, Iesus, Christos, Theo, Wis, and Sotar, the English translation of I-X-O-Y-E. The five Greek words stand for the English words that we use for Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior, or Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior. And this symbol was used primarily amongst early Christians in the beginnings of the church. Why? Well, for one, Jesus had two miracles where he made fish appear to feed his followers, but most notably because Jesus' disciples were fishermen. And Jesus told us in Matthew 4, 19, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So seeing the fish on the tree reminds me that my role at Christmas is not simply to decorate trees or to buy presents. No, my role at Christmas is to cast my line and to continue this mission that Jesus first gave us to seek and to save the lost. Merry Christmas.